Hello and welcome to the third assembly in the series of school closure assemblies for Hinchley Wood School students. Today's assembly is all about VE Day and what I'm going to be looking at is whether VE Day has a particularly new importance in the current climate in the year 2020. Now lots of you will already know what VE Day is, but for those of you that don't, let me explain. VE stands for Victory in Europe and VE Day was first talked about on the 8th of May 1945 because that was the day that the fighting in Europe stopped during World War II. This year is the 75th anniversary of VE Day and there were big plans afoot to commemorate and celebrate this event. However, like many things in our lives at the moment, those have had to be put on hold and scaled back slightly. We will still see the Queen on television this week talking about VE Day, and we will also see Captain Tom Moore's thoughts in a documentary on ITV. VE Day was and is a celebration of the end of fighting in Europe during World War II. World War II was a conflict in which it's estimated that around 3% of the world's population were killed and around 451,000 British citizens lost their lives. So when we see images taken from the 8th of May 1945, the original VE Day, it's no surprise that we see scenes of such joy and of such jubilation. But what got me thinking was, what is it that these people are actually celebrating? Is it the victory over an enemy in war, or is it actually the hope that they now have for a brighter future? A future which is likely to be more peaceful and likely to be the foundation for a stronger society. Lots of historians, including Mike Brown, describe VE Day as the day that peace broke out. That's what I'm going to look at next. Now, most of you will have heard of Winston Churchill. He is a very famous figure in British history, mainly known for being the prime minister during the majority of World War II. He was known for his great speeches, such as the one on the screen now, uh, and inspiring the British people and the military to victory. It was estimated at the time that he had a popularity rating of 83%, a very, very popular prime minister. So, when it came to the general election on the 5th of July 1945, just a couple of months after VE Day, Winston Churchill was expected to walk back into Number 10 Downing Street for another term as Prime Minister. His rival for power was the Labour Party leader Clement Attlee, and in a surprising twist, the British public voted massively in favour of Clement Attlee and the Labour Party. They had rejected Winston Churchill, which was a huge surprise. So perhaps there is something in the theory that these people here are not celebrating winning the war, not celebrating a great victory over their enemy, but actually celebrating the hope that they now have for a more peaceful future. Indeed, they had rejected Winston Churchill, who to them offered more of the same, and they had voted instead for something different, a more peaceful, a more hopeful future, which aimed to build a stronger society. Now, that feeling of hope for the future that emerged from VE Day led to the creation of the NHS, just three years after the end of World War II in 1948. People had decided that no longer did they want conflict. Instead, they wanted to build a society that looked after people, no matter whether they were rich or poor, old or young. The NHS was created to provide free healthcare to anybody who needed it. Clearly, we are living in a time where we are very thankful for the NHS, and we are therefore very thankful for those people 75 years ago on VE Day who imagined a better future, which led to the creation of the National Health Service. Today the NHS is 71 years old and it is loved, respected and cherished by all across the country. Now, 
There are lots of things which connect us as a school community. But one thing which has been really clear in the past few weeks is the shared affection and thankfulness that we have for the National Health Service. Many of you have parents and carers or wider family members that work in the NHS and many of you will have experienced the care of the NHS at some point in your lives. What has been really striking is the response that you as students have shown during this difficult time. We talk a lot in school about our values, one of which is consideration. And it has been wonderful to see the consideration that you are showing towards the NHS at this time. I'd like to share some examples of that with you now. On the screen now, you can see just a selection of the brilliant entries we had in our competition for year seven and eight students to design and produce a poster to thank the NHS. As you can see, we have had a number of brilliant entries. And as staff, we are so proud, not only of your artistic talent, but also of the fact that you are demonstrating that you are the compassionate, caring and considerate students that we want you to be. This is absolutely brilliant. However, it's not just the students who have been sharing their appreciation for the NHS in recent times. Last week, I emailed all of the staff who work at Hinchley Wood School to ask them what the NHS means to them and their families. In just 24 hours, I had over 50 replies, and I'd like to share some of those with you now. Lots of those stories were very touching and very personal. I hope that what they demonstrate is that the affection that we have for the NHS at Hinchley Wood School is shared by students and staff alike. The respect and admiration that we have for the National Health Service is something which bonds our community together. At the start of the assembly, I asked whether VE Day has got a new importance in the year 2020. Not just because it's the 75th anniversary, but because we can see the link between VE Day and the creation of the National Health Service, which is something we are clearly so grateful for today. It is up to you to form your opinion of whether you think VE Day is more important in 2020 than ever before, but I hope this assembly has at least given you food for thought. Thank you so much for listening to and watching the assembly. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you perhaps learned something new along the way. 
If you haven't already, please do get to our Twitter page this week so that you can see lots of brilliant work that's being shared there and also updates on our weekly community challenges. If you've not seen it already, there is a video of your staff taking part in a toilet roll challenge, which I would say is well worth a watch. We are really missing you as a body of staff and we are looking forward to the time that we are back together in one place. But for the time being, please remember to continue to follow the guidance that you've been given. The more we do that, the sooner we'll be back at school together. I hope you have a lovely rest of the week.